Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, DJI announces Mini 2 SE. FAA rescinds load-up requirements. Colgan Air Disaster families oppose relaxing pilot standards. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. DJI announces Mini 2 SE. DJI has shown off their new DJI Mini 2 SE, a lightweight, fist-sized camera drone. The Mini 2 SE slots in among other DJI models like the Mavic Mini and Mini 3 Pro. The tiny addition to the lineup aims for a tiny 8.8-ounce compact footprint that can more easily skirt drone rulings that hamper larger, more regulated drone categories around the world. The Mini 2 SE puts its focus on photography, providing a 1.5.3-inch CMOS camera sensor that shoots stills at 12 megapixels and video at a somewhat funky 2.7K resolution, which is understandable considering the size of the drone itself. The camera is equipped with the same 3-axis stabilization gimbal as other DJI products for adequate motion compensation in flight. Operationally, the Mini 2 SE does okay for its size, offering more than 30 minutes of flight time and a handy 6-plus mile transmission range. Little touches like a one-tap takeoff and landing capability belie the drone's design as a competent beginner and amateur drone, something made to provide photography to those with a passing interest in nabbing some drone footage when needed. Pricing via DJI starts out at $369 for a minimum loadout, with a more fleshed-out combo kit for $519. And after the break, Air India to acquire up to 290 Boeing jets. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Air India to acquire up to 290 Boeing jets. Air India announced on February 14th that a deal had been struck by which the new Delhi-based air carrier will advance the revitalization of its fleet by dint of an initial purchase of 200 narrow and wide-body Boeing jets. The agreement comprises 190 737 MAX, 20 787 Dreamliner, and 10 777 X aircraft, and includes options for an additional 50 737 MAX single aisle and 20 787 9 long range airliners. Upon its finalization, the deal will stand as Boeing's largest one time South Asian order to date. NASA clears second Axiom Space Crew. NASA has approved the crew slated to man Axiom Mission 2, Axiom Space's second private astronaut mission to the ISS. Axiom Space is a privately funded space infrastructure concern based in Houston, Texas. Axiom Space Director of Human Spaceflight and former NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson will command the privately funded mission. John Schaffner of Knoxville, Tennessee will serve as pilot. The two mission specialists, Ali Akarni and Rayana Barnawi of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, are members of the inaugural Saudi National Astronaut Program. Dyer announces 2022 performance update. Dyer has announced its 2022 financial performance and unveiled its takeoff 2027 five-year strategic plan. In 2022, across the entirety of its industrial and services businesses, Dyer recorded sales of over $1.3 billion, an increase of 15.4 percent over 2021. The company delivered 73 aircraft, five more than 2021's total of 68, and logged record orders for its TBM and Kodiak single-engine turboprop families. 
Sales were boosted by the positive reception and resultant strong interest in the swift and stylish TBM 960 and the backcountry and stole-capable Kodiak 900. Concern mounts over Darth of Canadian Helicopter Pilots in 2012, Transport Canada licensed 62 new helicopter pilots. A decade later, the agency issued only 12 such licenses, a decline of 80%. John Gradeck, an aviation expert at Montreal's McGill University, posits the dramatic drop in the issuance of rotary wing licenses is attributable to numerous factors. Veteran pilots have alternatively retired or been headhunted by regional and national airlines facing pilot shortages of their own. Gradeck also cited the high cost of pilot training, which often exceeds $100,000. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. FAA rescinds LOTA requirements. The FAA published a notice of policy in the Federal Register confirming that it would no longer require letters of deviation authority for most flight training in experimental aircraft, including instances in which the training aircraft's use is provided in the absence of compensation. LOTAs pertaining to flight training and experimental aircraft were introduced shortly before AirVenture 2021, following a court's ruling that almost all flight training and experimental aircraft was contrary to FAR 91.319A2, which prohibits the operation of experimental aircraft for compensation or higher. The FAA's new policy is a resultant of the James M. Inhofe National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2023. The annual defense spending bill, which was named for recently retired Senator James Inhofe, a Republican from Oklahoma and EAA member. Signed into law on December 23, 2022, the bill set forth, A flight instructor, registered owner, lesser or lessee of an aircraft shall not be required to obtain a letter of deviation authority from the administrator of the FAA to allow, conduct, or receive flight training, checking, and testing in an experimental aircraft under specific conditions. The language eliminates the need for a LOTA in most common cases of flight training, such as receiving a flight review or transition training in one's own aircraft. And after these messages, Colgan Air Disaster families oppose relaxing pilot standards. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. Colgan Air Disaster families oppose relaxing pilot standards. Last Sunday marked the 14th anniversary of the loss of Colgan Air Flight 3407, a Bombardier Q400 operated under a co-chair agreement with Continental Airlines that went down after entering an aerodynamic stall while on approach to New York's Buffalo Niagara International Airport. The entirety of the aircraft's 49 occupants and one individual on the ground lost their lives. Colgan Air Flight 3407 occasioned a host of revisions to airline safety regulations to include the establishment of a current rule by which pilots are required to log 1,500 flight hours and meet the knowledge and experience provisions of FAR 61.153, which lays out the eligibility requirements for FAA ATP certification prior to operating a commercial aircraft under Part 121. U.S. regional air carriers led by Republic Airways have aggressively and repeatedly petitioned the FAA to relax the 1,500-hour ATP rule. The initiative to abrogate the 1,500-hour ATP standard is opposed by major U.S. airlines, pilot unions, and the families and friends of those lost aboard Colgan Air Flight 3407. U.S. House of Representatives Transportation Committee Chair Sam Graves, Republican from Missouri, states he'd like to see a broader array of curricula and training conventions qualify as prerequisites for ATP certification. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.